What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. And today we're taking a look at my most downvoted, disliked tutorial video that I've ever done on the channel, uh, how to create a contact form in WP Forms Lite. And I think there's two parts of the dislike. One, I think I gave too much commentary while doing the tutorial in the original video. And I think some people just don't like the pricing scheme of WP Forms. Let's dive into the fastest way to get into this tutorial, and that's creating a new form. So I'm gonna create this form, and then I'm gonna give you an overview of the whole plugin, and then I'm gonna leave my commentary towards the end. First thing first, we name the form. So we'll say tutorial form. And like most uh, form builders out there, you're presented with a set of templates to start with. We're just gonna start with a simple contact form create simple contact form. That'll do all the dirty work to set up a basic form, name, email, and comment. And as you can see, all three fields are set. You can see by the red uh, uh, asterisk next to it, set to required, and in the advanced settings, set to required. And that's it. Like if you wanna build a super fast contact form, you are literally done. You hit save, and then you grab the embed code uh, by using this short code here, or if you're using Gutenberg, you will drop it in with a page builder. So let's just, or excuse me, with a Gutenberg block. So let's go ahead and copy this. Go to a page. Now remember, I'm gonna go through some of the, uh, of the deeper features in a moment. Oh, I have two contact pages, how about that? Uh, let's just edit this one. So I'll paste in the short code. We'll preview that page. There's the form. That's how fast you can build a form and get it into a website if you're looking for just a basic contact form. And then if you're, again, using Gutenberg, you can search for WP Forms, grab the block, obviously indicated by the bear logo that this is WP Forms, and then you pick uh, out of your list of forms, and there it is uh, visually displayed as Gutenberg does with some of these uh, newer blocks these days. You hit preview, and obviously you're gonna have both forms there. So if you're looking for the fastest way to insert a WP Forms form, that's it, right? I don't know how many minutes we're in, maybe two or maybe three, but you copy the short code, you paste it into a, into a page or a post uh, or into your page builder and you're off into the races. Let's go back to looking at the form and evaluate some of the features that WP Forms gives you uh, with the light version. And then we can dissect this and then go into my... Um, breakdown towards the end of this video. You'll see right up here, the standard field section, all of these blocks that are highlighted. These are the ones that you're gonna be able to use in the WP Forms Lite version. In other words, you're gonna have to pay for everything else. And I think that's where a lot of the dislikes come from in the original video as well, is because of the price points. And if we quickly take a glance at the pricing, Basic starts at 39, then it goes 99, 199, 299 respectively, depending on how many of these features you actually need and how many sites you need to install it on. I think for a lot of people, people say five sites for 199, wow, that's pretty steep. And in terms of pricing WordPress products, uh, it's, it's, it's up there, it's definitely on the premium side. The argument for this plugin is, it's really meant for marketing folks, uh, I think it's really focused in on anyone who's seriously making money or building a valuable email list or doing some kind of data collection that really ties into a business. Like it's not just mom and pop needs a contact form and it'd be nice if it connected up to a MailChimp. If this is much more for people who are hyper-focused on making that a reality for themselves or for customers. So you're not gonna get any of these fancy fields, certainly not these payment fields, you know, there are some basic workarounds, so you're not gonna get the phone pre-formatted validation of a phone field, but if you dragged in a single line text, edit this, called it phone, and then went back to all the fields, there's your phone, you can put this below your email. Like, there are ways to get around that, but you're not gonna get the way it stores the data, you're not gonna get the validation stuff of, let's say, a, a URL field, that kind of thing, so there are workarounds. Let's go to the settings. Uh, you have your general settings where you can rename the, 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 the name of the form. You can give it a description. You can target the CSS class. You can change the submit button to say send now or whatever. So you have that ability to change the, uh, the label on that submit button. You have some other stuff that you can play with in terms of CSS. Another area where we see a lot of limitation on the WP Forms Lite version 
is the notification section. So this is where you'd come in and say, all my contact forms will go to the admin of the site, or you can place a comma and go and, and type in an email address and add another email address here to send the same notification to another email address. What you won't be able to do is click on add new notification to give a whole new notification template to somebody else. So let's say you're gathering some sensitive information on a website or just information that's not relevant to another department in an organization. And you wanna send a copy of this contact form with just a limited amount of fields. Well, with another notification, you could do that, but only in the paid version. And then confirmation is pretty self-explanatory. You can just show a message. Thanks for contacting us. You can show a page. You can select a page all from within your WordPress site, and then you can redirect it to a URL. What you'll see here is some of these areas that are grayed out that you're not going to have access to. Uh, conversational forms, surveys and polls, form pages, form locker, form abandonment, uh, and post submissions. And let me just highlight two things that I think are really cool uh, and might be worth the upgrade uh, to a WP forms. Specifically, this conversational forms, uh, it's just a styling approach, at least the way I perceive it, at, uh, to creating a forms. This is their example. This is an example of a conversational form where you come in and you start typing in uh, your information. And you can see that as I move, whoops, let's just do this, just put that in. You can see that as you move throughout the form, it's, it's like you're having a conversation. So you have this nice formatted uh, view Fields are just highlighted and focused right in front of you. And it feels like, you know, these are just one question at a time. And there's a little progress bar at the bottom. So that's pretty cool. And if you're a sales organization, a surveying marketing organization, these things um, can make your life a lot easier. Are there ways to do this without WP Forms? Certainly. Uh, do you want to think about all that overhead to do it? Maybe not. So an upgrade to get the conversational forms you know, might be worth it to you. So you're not going to get that in the free version. Um, and you're not going to get the landing pages. Again, there's a million ways to do this. You could have a page builder and you're making landing pages and you're just dropping WP forms in it, or you're using the landing page features of WP forms for an example, like we have in front of us here. It's just a way to make life a little bit easier if you're building out a lot of forms. Okay. So you're not going to get some of this stuff that you see under the settings page. Uh, same goes for marketing. They do have a agreement with Constant Contact, so uh, or a partnership or an affiliate with Constant Contact. So this is available. So if you already have a Constant Contact account and you're using WP Forms Lite free, you can hook up your Constant Contact. Uh, otherwise, if you want to integrate with any of these other services, Active Campaign, Mailchimp, Drip, and Zapier, which is a big one, you're not going to get that until you upgrade to. Uh, one of the paid plans, and Zapier doesn't come into the mix until you get on the $199 a year plan. So that could be pretty pricey if that's all you're after. And Zapier is a pretty big one, and I know a very popular one in the WordPress space. And then naturally at the end, uh, the payments field, you're not going to get any of these. And I think, again, I'll add some of the commentary right now, I think that this form builder is built specifically for the marketing, the sales, the e-commerce person. And remember that this is a product of Awesome Motive, which is Optin Monster, Syed Balki, uh, WP Beginner. They have a whole suite of marketing and what I'm saying is probably e-commerce tools in the future. They're doing all this stuff with SEO, uh, again, lead gen with Optin Monster, contact forms. They're building this whole suite. And I think at the end of 2020, we might see an e-commerce play as well. So you're buying into this ecosystem and this way of thinking when you're getting into WP Forms. And that's not a bad thing, right? If these things work the way you need it, why not shell out the money? If there's alternatives out there for you, then find the alternatives, some of which are covered on this channel. The entries uh, tab under the admin, I feel like this one could have come out for free. <laughs> like we probably could have put at least storing the entries for free where you can see your list of entries that people have submitted and maybe retract some features like sorting or exporting. But at the base level, being able to see these entries, I think is should be par for the course. Um, but you're not gonna get that as well under the free plan. Uh, you will be able to integrate 
with, again, constant contact and see everything under this integration uh, screen. So that's useful. And this is the one I wanted to show, the SMTP service. So if you're like many, many people who are on shared hosting or self-hosting or your hosting company doesn't provide a send mail service because they disable it because of spam, um, WP Forms integrates with their WP Mail SMTP plugin, which will help deliver that email for you. It's a paid service uh, for some of the features, uh, but just know that you can, if you're ever like, where's my, where's my contact forms going? Why haven't I got this email? Uh, maybe setting up something like WP Mail SMTP will be the trick uh, that you need. Uh, and lastly, you can actually connect it up to their Monster Insights to see some analytics around your forms. So that's why I sort of naturally gravitate. I mean, just knowing Syed and Awesomotive and their tool sets, these are generally made for the person who's marketing and building a business online. And these types of integrations, while you might think, well, this I could do this another way for free, some people just don't want to mess with that stuff. And, and that's why they've built this product. It's purpose-driven and, I, I, you know, good on them for, for drawing that line, um, you know, in the sand. And I think that that's the ideal person for this. If you're a developer and you want to hack away at your forms and you want more advanced options, well, look elsewhere. Gravity forms, Ninja forms, Formidable forms, they do a great job too. And if you're giving out these sites to customers, I'd be hard pressed to say that, you know, I feel that WP Forms Builder is probably the most, I don't want to say basic, uh, but it has just a very natural feel to it. Like you're not head scratching where these buttons are. How do I connect the stuff? How do I drag things around? Uh, you know, some form builders are still stuck in the past where it feels like you're scratching your head. Like, what is this that I'm looking at? And others are just way too beautiful at the same time where you're like, you just get kind of lost. Like you, everything looks great, but I just don't know where anything is. This is a very sensible approach. And if you're working with a customer who you just don't want those phone calls where it's like, how do I get a field in here? You know, maybe that's the value in WP Forms or going to WP Forms Pro or Basic or, you know, whatever plan that you want to pick. So that's WP Forms Lite in the year 2020. Maybe I'll get more upvotes on this video. Who knows? Knowing YouTube, though, I'll get more downvotes just because of the nature of the trolling presence that is YouTube. If you like the video, go ahead and thumbs up. If you want more of my take, my tutorials, my reviews, my suggestions, subscribe to the channel. It's PluginTut.com. Last week, just getting past a million views altogether. Small, small victory in the larger sense of YouTube. That's it. That's all I got for you in this video. We'll see you in the next one.